All right, welcome to Joe's art class. We're doing a bunch of tutorials today. Go get your pencil, go get your paper, and start drawing with me. So the first one is obviously an eye because if you're an artist, I just like this version, okay? I really recommend this artist because there's something about the way they do it where it's like, you know they're not gonna be able to do it again. I don't know, I don't know. To me, this is giving the vibe that the left eye is gonna look really different from the right eye. Which I'm not a hater of. I'm not a hater of that. My thing is, right, why don't you just draw them both at the same time? But anyway, we're, I'm the student here. I'm here to learn. And they're the teacher. So we're going to do what the teacher says. And the teacher says you draw one at a time. You draw one at a time. But me personally, maybe I'm slow. I'm doing them both. <laughs> I'm doing them both together. Because, I don't know, my hand is going to forget. It's going to forget what I did. It's gonna, it's gonna get lost. So if you're like me, do both. Now this one, you gotta be like an A level, like, fan. what's the word? What are those things? What are those things people read? What do you, what do you call them? What do you call them? Um, fan fiction. Yes. You have to be an A level fan fiction reader to write, to, to even make this tutorial. And I commend it because it's like, go for gold like you know what you want and you're putting pen to probably wondering what's next obviously another eye obviously this time we're going for more of an anime style okay i personally do not like anime eyes because mine always look a little bit scary that's not on purpose though i think just because of who i am as a person like I want my characters and my eyes to be kind of creepy. Like they need to jump at, out, jump out at you. That's the word. But some people like to be them. more realistic and charming and nice. Like this one has a little circle. It has a little heart. Not me though. You'll never catch me doing that. I need to look like I'm making the scariest thing to walk a planet. You know what I mean? And so that's what I like about this tutorial. If you're someone who likes to do things a little, a little bit more fun and like approachable and not scary, totally do. The thing I do like that a lot of artists are doing these days, especially on these tutorials, is they're putting little bags under the eyes, okay? As a, a an eye bag connoisseur, listen, I'm working, I'm busy, okay? I'm gonna have some bags under my eyes. I've had some people say, you look like you need you haven't slept since like the 18th century and that that I, I get that but at the same time like keep that to yourself okay that's mean that's mean be nice all right what is going on here so we're drawing hands right my question is does any artist actually know how to draw hands because in this tutorial they're doing an amazing job but realistically i don't draw hands like this in fact crazy fact I don't draw hands at all. I feel like it's a rite of passage that if you spend so much time on everything else, you should be able to just draw like a club as the hand, a little chode, a little, ch a little, you get it, right? Okay, obviously this is just a hair tutorial, so I'm not gonna draw the entire face, but if I was going to, I'm, I, no, I wouldn't, I, who am I kidding? I would never do that, but I drew a little head to replace it, like a mannequin head, and I just think it's so funny how mine looks scary because there's no face but i don't know doing this with crayon is a lot of work should i get a pen comment some like pen suggestions because i feel like that would be a good idea okay i need to know where this trend came from because they're everywhere like it's like these completely useless tiny drawings of cartoon characters okay, this is actually my favorite kind of tutorial because it's like a study you get to actually learn and i feel like they're super helpful and i don't know what it is but if i see something drawn out i can pro i can replicate it it's weird my brain's weird anyway what i like about this one specifically is the way they started out with like the shapes and then built out from there so that it kind of makes a little bit more sense you know what i mean i feel like a lot of tutorials they get caught up in like trying to do like keep the strokes perfect and whatnot but like i don't care just show me how to do the thing all right now what is <laughs> what is happening you know sometimes i do things and i question my own sanity because here we are drawing like this weird like marshmallow thing i don't know guys listen i'm just following the tutorial i'm just following the tutorial 
it's not the most interesting thing in the world, I will admit. But you cannot blame me. This isn't my fault. Blame whoever put together this compilation. And also, if you're still here, comment what other tutorials I should do. Comment other creators whose tutorials I should do. Um, I need I need some inspo. I need some I need I need the vibes. I need the good vibes. So drop drop some good vibes in the comments. Drop some ideas. Drop some video ideas, and we will make it happen. Okay, now for our last tutorial before class is over, we're gonna learn how to draw a sunflower. Okay. So you start off with the circle, nice, nice. Draw some petals connecting it, fancy, very cool. Um, why do y'all do that, okay? If you're making a tutorial and you do step one, or I'm, I'm not even gonna say one, usually one is fine. Why are we going from step 